Hi and welcome to our video on the fourth law that we're going to be covering with indices which is raising a power to a power. Hopefully by the end of this short video you'll be able to use the law to, to answer um, questions and apply questions regarding the raising a power to a power. Alright, so by the end of this video we should, we're should just going to prove the law. So you should be able to, be able to prove the law using the, the, the laws that you've already done, especially uh, index law 1 and we should be able to apply the law um, with some examples. All right, let's have a look at, let's have a look at what we can do um, with, this, with this law and how it actually applies. Okay, so if we have a look over here, what we actually have is we have 2 to the power of 3 in brackets raised to the power of 3. So what does that actually equal? It actually means that we've got 2 to the power of 3 and we're actually multiplying that three times in a chain so that's where we're actually that's what we're actually doing with this now if we have a look at if we were to expand that out even further we'd have two times 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 two and you can see that we've got the three lots of two to the power of two multiplied together. If we add all the numbers in the chain, we'll see that we've actually got nine numbers, so we've actually got two to the power of nine. Now, I don't know if you can see a pattern. We'll have a look at the second one, and let's see if we can um, we can see a pattern in this one as well. So now we've got three squared, three squared, and that's raised to the power of four, so it's three squared times three squared times three squared times three squared, and we can see it four times in the chain. If we expand that out, 3 times 3, we see we've got the 4 lots of 3 squared that we've actually multiplied together. Uh, if we count all the numbers in that multiplication chain, like we did with multiply, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that equals 3 to the power of 8. Now, what's the relationship between those two numbers and our um, our indice there. Hopefully you should be able to see it. But the law is, as we can see here in, the, in this in this box, if we've got any number or any raised, any number that is to a power, and that's raised to a power, we keep the base and we multiply the indices. So if we have a look at this one, we've kept the base too. And if we look at here, that's actually 3 times 3. And that's actually... 2 times 4 to get 8. So you can see there we've actually applied that little pattern where we actually multiply the indices. So now when we see that, we're just going to multiply the indices. Let's have a look at some examples really, really quickly. Okay, so now we've got a power raised to a power. So we've got 5. So it would be 6 times 3. 5 to the 6 times 3, which equals 5 to the power of 18. Okay, example number two, we've got 4 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 3. So that actually equals 4 to the power of 4 times 3, which equals 4 to the power of 12. And now over here, we've actually got um, we've got a, a pronumeral in there. We don't have um, a number. Um, we could calculate these. They'd be really large numbers. But we've basically um, got, a, got a letter here. So we've got, we'll keep the base, which is C, and we multiply the indices which equals c to the 2 times 5, which equals c to the 10. Now on our next page, I'm going to show you when we actually have a coefficient next to those, and we'll look at those. Once again, our next example here, y to the power of 9 raised to the power of 3. Well, that's y to the 9 times 3, which equals y to the power of 27. Okay, here is the first example I'm talking about when we actually have a coefficient you, we need to raise the coefficient to the power also. All right, so what we have here is we actually have 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by m, now squared, 2 times 4. So 2 to the power of 4, what's 2 to the power of 4? Well, that's 16 times m to the power of 8, which 
which equals 16m to the power of 8 when we take away that multiplication sign. Over here in our last example, we have 3r to the power of 6 raised to the power of 3. So first of all, remember we have to, we're going to raise this coefficient. So that's going to be 3 to the power of 3, and that's multiplied by r to the power of 6 times 3. So 3 to the power of 3 is actually 27 times r to the 18, and that actually equals 27r to the 18. Now there are, there are some examples with when we're raising uh, powers to powers. If we've got a coefficient in there, we raise that as well. Um, it's a really, really simple rule. If we think of the rules now, we're either adding, subtracting. If it's the power of 0, it equals 1. And now we're multiplying the indices. So really simply, that's all it is. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you can start to practice those questions and get something out of it.